Hi guys, and today we're going to be talking about the Spider-Man remastered PC port specs and the features it's going to have. So before we get into the specs, I just had the specs up, but we're just going to go and talk about the features. This game supports uh, ray tracing, NVIDIA DLSS, NVIDIA DLAA, and it's supporting ultra wide and NVIDIA surround monitor setups. And also they are making note of the settings such as SEO, texture filtering, level of detail quality, shadows and more. They are also confirming that they support the windowed full screen and exclusive full screen rendering modes. And this is from the PlayStation blog itself. So we are directly at the source. Now, I want to make this clear. There has been no notes or anything released for AMD FSR 1.0 or 2.0 so I cannot confirm if the game is supporting FSR um, I've gone to one or two other sites and this is from PC games right and this is from Sam Wallets and they have also said they don't they are unsure if AMD FSR will be supported in the game right checked one or two other sites didn't see anything about it so we're back to the specs and the specs are broke down, broken down very well we have minimum recommended very high and the two ray tracing presets, amazing ray tracing and ultimate ray tracing. There's also the average performance, graphic presets and the hardware under that you need it. So let's just get this straight off the bat. Storage, 75 gigabytes across the board on a SSD. Uh, obviously the game is going to be able to run off a hard drive, but if you want the faster loading times, a SSD is the way to go. SSDs are not expensive at the moment, so you're going to be good to go. Um, RAM, you need 8 gigabytes at the minimum. Then the recommended, very high and amazing ray tracing, all recommend 16 gigabytes. Ultimate ray tracing is at 32 gigabytes. So you're good there. CPUs, they are recommending an i3-4160 and a GTX 950 for the minimum. The minimum is targeting 720p 30 FPS, very low settings. The GTX 950 is on par with a RX 460. It's a very low end card now. Um, so most people, based on Steam hardware, so they have something around a 1650, a 1650 Super, a GTX 1060, so you will be fine. All right? Now the i3-4160 is a dual core. As you can see, this is it here on PC part pickup. Um, very old chip at this point. Two cores. Yep. So, yeah. As you can see, it's it's up there in age. Now, 720p 30 FPS is fine for the low-end gaming. And the specs are more than reasonable there. Recommended, which is 1080p 60 FPS. They want a GTX 1060 or the RX 580, which is perfectly in line with the mainstream as the mainstream uses the GTX 1060 so 1080p medium setting 60 FPS on average perfectly fine only this reference here I see here is that they want an i5 4670 and a Ryzen 5 1600 now if we go here go back to parts and type 4670 right you could see this is a quad core, right? Straight up four cores, four threads. Six core, 12 threads. Both of them. So that there does give me a bit of concern because there's a lot more processing power on the Ryzen 5 1600. So, I'm not too sure if this game is going to be heavily single threaded with or it's going to be more uh, multi threaded and one more CPU power. So it depends. I guess it really depends. So we're hoping for good multi threaded support. You know, that does help a lot of times with frame stutters and stuff like that and not bottlenecking a single core. Now moving up into the very high, which is targeting 4K 60fps at the very high settings, they want a NVIDIA RTX 3070 or the AMD RX 6800. 
and they want a 3600 Ryzen CPU or a Core i5 11400F. Both of those trade blows back and forth, they're both fine, right? They're both 6 cores, 12 threads. As you can see, the game seems to be wanting a 6 core, 12 thread overall. Now, what I have here to be a little confusing is that the 3070 is not on par with the 6800 XT. If we come here to the 3070, that is at a baseline at 100. As you could see, the 6800 XT is a tier above it going more toe to toe with the RTX 3080. So, yeah, we don't know if they're taking an account DLSS versus native rendering. So, again, the game could be a little more demanding and favor the 6800 XT, or it could be that just the 6800 XT is getting way above 60 FPS. We don't know. Or maybe the game is just going to favor NVIDIA hardware. We don't have the game, but we're just looking at that. So overall, for the non-ray tracing settings, I think it's really good. I think most people should be able to run the game because most people have uh, quad cores that are multi-threaded. So they have four core eight threads on par with the 6700K, 6700, 7700, 7700K. Most of you all with CPUs in that class will be fine. So anybody with a Ryzen 5, 1600, 2600, 2700X, 3700X, you're all fine. Um, same thing, I believe. So a, a 10400F, a 10 a 10600K, a 8700K, all those CPUs are going to be golden for getting 60 FPS from what we are expecting on the averages. 1% lows are a different matter, and that's for testing. Now, moving into the ray tracing, we have two averages and two performances. So we're the targeting 1440p 60 FPS or 4K 30 FPS and then 4K 60 FPS. And they want the RTX 3070 versus the 6900 XT. And they want a 3700X or a 11600K. Now, again, the 3070 is not on par with the 6900 XT. The 6900 XT blows it out of the water completely in rasterization. But given that this is ray tracing, again, NVIDIA ray traces better. NVIDIA is, has the obvious advantage and they have DLSS. So I assume they are taking in DS, DLSS in this. Again, same thing with the 3080 at ultimate ray tracing at 4K 60 FPS versus the 6950 XT. And for the CPU, they want a 5900X and a 12700K. Obviously, if you have a 5700, a 5800X, obviously, if you have the 5800X 3D, you're going to be fine there. Ultimate ray tracing, again, that's going to be very demanding and... With DLSS, you're going to be able to push there. I'm not sure how AMD will perform because AMD does not do well in ray tracing when it compares to NVIDIA. So obviously, we're going to have to see, but I expect NVIDIA to come out blatantly on top. So those are things that you should be aware of. And overall, the game is well-rounded and we have a lot to note. And the game is coming out August the 12th, if you didn't know the date. Now, for back to the mid-range, because most high-end gamers will be able to run this, because most high-end gamers do have the hardware too. Let's say you're running a GTX 950 or a 1060 and you want more performance. What upgrade in your GPU that doesn't cost a lot could you make? So if we go to PC Part Picker, Browse Parts, go to Video Cards, right? And one of the video cards that I think people should be willing to consider is this, the RX 6600. The RX 6600 is a very fast GPU. It blows the 1060, the RX 580. It's pretty much on par with a, a GTX 1080 Ti. And it does have the ability to ray trace. Not the best. Not the best. It's definitely going to be some retracing at 1080p where you're going to need FSR, uh, whether it's FSR 1.0, 2.0, whichever one you prefer to use, obviously 2.0 is better. But as you could see, at $270 for this model, it's a good upgrade in the $200 price category if you want more performance for this game. Um, it was cheaper 
on Amazon Prime Day, they were going for about 250 240 So keep that in mind. You still have some time before the game comes out. So if you feel like your GPU is underpowered and you want to upgrade, maybe you could consider this. That's just my recommendation. And overall, I think the game is really well specced, reasonable across the board. Um, I'm a bit worried about the i3-4160, but then again, that's only 720p to the FPS. Averages, 1% low could be in the dumps. But overall, the game is looking pretty well optimized. If you have any questions about the game, what you think, uh, drop them down below. I'm going to try and buy the game for August 12th. If I have time, I'm not on work, and I'm going to benchmark it. Um, I'll probably benchmark it on my 1080 Ti, 1650 Super. And uh, I'm going to get a new GPU soon. I'm not too sure which one. It's depending on the price. And I may throw that in too. All right, thanks everyone. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions on whether you think your computer could run it or you want to have a discussion about what you think about it, the specs required to run the game, drop them down below. I'll have a chance to chat with you all and have a nice day.